gonna be five and zero after this unless something weird happens. Let's do this. Unclaimed territory, naming humans, ether vial, round five. Let's go. Cavern of Souls, vial here for awesome. So this matchup, flying's gonna matter. Mm -hmm. I played this deck a bunch over uh, over the holidays. Didn't play against the mirror once though. So flying's gonna matter. Reflect reflector mage is gonna matter big time. And neither of these players have the mayor, right? The mayor has been cut. Yeah, mayor, mayor is basically gone from this deck at this point. You got lieutenant, four copies in phantasmal image. Some players play four. Zan's got three. Rossum's got four. Because in the in the abstract, I would I would guess that Mayor would be the best card in the mirror match. Could be really good. It's just good. size on the battlefield, and that's yeah. the... It could be really good. Champion of the Parish is going to go through the Vile. Horizon Canopy comes down. Zan's going to fall down to 19, deciding what he wants to cast. Their deck lists look very similar. But also, there's not, like, a lot of differences in humans' deck lists nowadays. Actually, the main difference between their main decks is, if I'm getting this correctly, Rossum has four Phantasmal Image and one Dark Confidant. Zan Said has three Phantasmal Image and two Dark Confidant. Okay. Nice. Here comes Meddling Mage. Chris Pakula, everybody. There's nothing to name. <laughs> There's a vial. Seems a bit strong. <laughs> I, uh, you can name nothing. Yeah, you can name Phantasmal Image. <laughs> He's got four. You've only got the three. Yeah. Well, when we get confirmation of what Zan's naming, we will let you know at home. Hopefully our handy dandy spotter will tell us. We're gonna go over to Rossum here in just a moment. Yes, we do. He's gonna name Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Surprise, Thalia, huh? I guess first strike. Well, you would just name whatever you think the card he is most likely to cast next turn that doesn't interfere with anything you're doing would be the card to name. That's why he went in, that's why he was thinking for so long, because it's, that, that's, the, that's the issue there. Meddling Mage. That's the consideration. You see, they, see it's, it's a mirror match, so they're both going to do the same thing. We'll see what, Rossum's going to name Reflector Mage. Good choice. Yeah, that's a good choice, because that's a really good magic card. I know this is going to shock you, but when I was testing this deck, you know what card was really good? Reflector Mage. Yeah, it was still awesome. It's still awesome. It's still awesome in an old format, or at least older format. What a nonsense card. Oh, yeah. That one is questionable. The first time I bounced a Wormcoil Engine, I'm like, I can't lose. And this cannot be fun for my opponent at all. Here's another Vile. Don't want to draw two of those. It's not ideal. Although, Vile on three, Vile on two gives that's you a, a lot thing. of play inside of combat. Yeah, no, that's a good thing. Here comes Champion of the Parish and Meddling Mage with a Vile on two, so you got to be a little wary of something like a Thalia's Lieutenant coming through. We'll see if Rossum wants to do any blocking at all. Oh, there's a Thalia that's going to come through. So you get it, you name it the Meddling Mage, but you put it through. Yeah, you're not actually vial. casting mm -hmm. it. You are putting it from your hand onto the battlefield. Nailed it's it. It's a different thing. Nailed it. That's nice. Which means Champion of the Parish are going to turn into a 3-3. Three, three. You see Rossum's hand. He has a Phantasmal Image, Mantis Rider, Kite Sail, Free Buddha. And now he's untapping. Vile up to two for Jonathan. Got to match Zans. Yeah, it looks like a Cavern of Souls was the draw. Different artwork on this one, but works all the same. Jonathan has a question. Jonathan no longer has a question. Wondering how that Thalia got on the battlefield. Through the vial. You get it? It's okay, it's early. Yep. It's only uh it's only 3.01 p.m. here. It's pretty early in the day. There's a mantis rider. 
trigger because it's a human synergy with Champion of the Parish. I see it all. Yeah. I see it all. We we have the uh, argument quite frequently at work. Is this synergy or is this just what the cards do? <laughs> Champion of Parish, Manus Rider, is, is that a synergy or is that just... That's just, just what the cards that's do. That's just what the cards do. Yeah. That's just how they work. Now, Rossum does have, does have Phantasmal Image in hand, and he, I think he's thinking, should I Phantasmal Image my Mantis Rider and just go to the skies, which is actually kind of a line that I like. Yeah, the question is if you're trying to, to get him in combat or not. Ooh, I like that. I love this. 2-2 oh. two, two into a 2-1 first striker. I am in heaven. It's good. Aggressive. I would snap him off. Oh, of course. And I would be wrong because he has Thaddeus Lieutenant in hand. But I would snap him off. It's a cautious attack, too. So this attack is all predicated on body language. He was like a little cautious coming in, daring him to block. I don't think Xan will, though. I still love it, though. Ooh, now Zan maybe is weighing the idea of blocking. Hmm. Well, I, you know, there's the, the question here of if he has Lieutenant, is this just so much damage anyway mm -hmm. that if I go no blocks, I'm dead? So it might be a spot where you call because if what he is representing is actually there, you're beat anyway. It's true. It's true. Activation. Lieutenant. Two counters are going to go on the Champion of the Parish. One from Lieutenant, one from Champion. One on Mantis Rider, one on Meddling Mage. This is 12 it's by my of, count? It's a lot of damage. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Yeah, it's 12. Your count's good. Humans can deal a lot quickly. Yeah. It's one of the things about this deck. Particularly with Vile. The, the deck couldn't be a little bit on the cumbersome side without mm -hmm. it, but it plays very well at instant speed, and it has a lot of twos and threes to deploy, so Vile is just the perfect fit. Yeah. It's important when you're playing with humans that you start the game with one of your one drops, be it Vile or Noble Hierarch. It's weird, like in some matchups, Champion of the Parish is actually third on that list, because you just want to be able to play multiple spells in one turn. Yeah, but your hands that are just a curve of creatures and no ones, even if they look like fine hands mm -hmm. are typically mulligans. Yes. Especially on the draw. Right. They look like hands that are fine, but the problem is that your opponent is playing cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And those hands are not good enough to right. be an opponent who is playing cards. Right. That's that's a thing. Sometimes they play cards, yeah. yeah. Often, in fact. <laughs> Zan is going to sacrifice the Rising Canopy to draw a card. He didn't get a great look at it, unfortunately. Well, he's got a new card in his hand. I know he's got a Reflector Mage there. That's an important one. But his battlefield is worse than Jonathan's because Lieutenant is so important in this matchup. And he's behind on the damage race, and he's losing in the air. Yep. So pretty much every front that the game can be played on here. Rossum's ahead. Rossum, no interest in blocking. He'll just take the three from the champion. He's going to fall down to 12, use his life total as a resource. We'll go back over to Rossum. He'll untap, see if that vial's going to go up to three or not. He'll survey the battlefield, and he's happy to leave it at two. Doesn't even touch the vial. He drew another copy of Thalia's Lieutenant. And I think with Phantasmal Image in hand, that's a pretty powerful incentive to leave at two, mm -hmm. uh, both because you can copy your own stuff for various reasons, and with Saeed behind on the table, uh, the top concern you would have to have is Re Reflector Mage, and that's a nice one to copy. Thaizu time. That's going to resolve. These humans have just gotten larger. Something they oftentimes do. Now you can just move into combat with your vials still at two. Phantasmal image ready to.
copy a lieutenant or a reflector mage should Zaid present one. Ooh, that's nice. I didn't even think about that. I imagine he is, well, he, he's going to have to present one. That's the best thing he can do with a Violon 3. And a Violon 1 is irrelevant. Th this is a lethal attack uh, through the two blockers. Yep. So Zaid needs to do something before we get to damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Activate there. There is Reflector Mage. Sure. He's going to grow that Champion of the Parish, of course, because a human did enter the battlefield. All right, so Mantis Rider will go back to the grip. And Rossum might still say, all right, go, go ahead and block. Yeah, it's fine. Just decimate your battlefield. I mean, at the very least, you're going to have to block the champion of the parish. Know that. Saeed's going to pick up those creatures, figure out what he wants to do some blocking with. Remember that meddling mage that Zan has is naming Thalia Guard of Thraben, which he put on the battlefield through an Aether Vial. The meddling mage that Jonathan Rossum has, that's naming Reflector Mage, which Zan put in through the vial. Classic. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of double blocking here. This probably ends up poorly. 2-3 two, and a 2-2 two, two on a 4-4, four, four, which means copying Thalia's Lieutenant is good here. Oh, yeah. Don't actually need to copy Reflector Mage. I'll tell you what, Phantasmal Image in this deck is busted, by the way. A lot of good stuff to copy. Yeah. It is busted. You're happy to copy Freebooters, Lieutenants, Mantis Riders, Reflector Mages, and heaven forbid your opponent actually has something good to copy. Yeah, Phantasmal Image works good on a number of fronts. One is you have a lot of good stuff to copy, and the other is so much of what your deck does is trigger on entering the battlefield mm -hmm. that even if they have an answer for the fantastical image is not that big of a deal you're usually getting something good uh, coming in or going out we go over to Zan whose battlefield has been decimated three and two on the vials which sure he finally got there but might be a little too little too late like Jojo likes to say you don't know Jojo it's okay I don't know Jojo you don't know Jojo John Remember that Zaid knows about the Manus Rider as well, which can be either viled or cast next turn. Mm -hmm. Might be a problem. Maybe. We got any invocations out there? No? No. Okay. Just doing a check. Trying to win my bingo here. No turn three win yet either. It's a little disappointing. And Zan said, I can't win. I, uh, I, I can't win. Can't win. Jonathan Ross is going to win game number one over Zan Saeed. Human Mirror goes to your player on the left to start things. Again, keep in mind, these players have very similar deck lists. Uh, for Rossum, the only difference, he has four uh, Phantasmal Image and one Dark Confidant, whereas Zan has three and two Dark Confidant. And we'll get to the sideboard in just a bit. You see these two players. Same team, Lotus Box. But in the meantime, we got to get ready for some messages from our sponsors. So we are going to get prepared to move that way right now.
game number two about to be underway here between Jonathan Rossum and Zan Saeed. So we'll take a look at the sideboards here for both players. We'll see how those do line up. Zan Saeed's going to be on the play for game number two. Both these players playing humans, I mentioned. And it looks like there are some differences in the sideboard. So two dismember, two graph trigger's cage, two Gaddock Teague, two is it Static Caster, two Sin Collector, two Vithian Renegades, and Offense of the Foremost, the Mirror Crusader, and a Magus of the Moon for Xan. What do you like there? Uh, I like the two copies of Dismember and maybe the Mirror Crusader. That's really about it. Yeah. Uh, maybe Static Caster probably is too slow, I guess. Yeah. Well, the Thalia's Lieutenant is doing something right away and also gets to a 2 2 very easily. And then what, it's not championing the parish. That that grows way too fast. Mm -hmm. There's no mayor of Averbrook, so I don't. I you know. Eh, okay. Maybe you bring it in. Maybe you have cards that are worse. Maybe the meddling mages are so bad. I think that, they're pretty bad. But it's possible just a two-two for two is better than the static caster. The sideboard here for Jonathan Rossum is the exact same. The only difference is the Magus the Moon's not there. There's Dark Confident in the sideboard that is not listed. That is it. So I don't know if you want an additional copy of Dark Confident or not. Yeah, I think Dark Confidant's probably fine here. Yeah. I don't know if the Judas members can come in, whatever. If, you th if you're worried about Dark Confidant, certainly that's more of an argument for the Static Casters coming in from both sides as well. All right, fair enough. Those but the games the might just be over so fast that the card advantage from Dark Confidant is, isn't is very good here. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. I, and I think Dark Confidant is probably fine on the play and not good on the draw. Yeah, yeah. so I, I think it'll be really light. Only the dismembers seem straightforward and easy to bring in. So I know that you and I, when we did our Factor Fiction uh, that went live on Friday over on StarCityGames.com, uh, I had a question about if Humans is still a Tier 1 deck, and you feel as though it is. I think that's very good. Yeah. I, I think the metagame has gotten worse for it, you know, in the last couple months. There's less Storm, then, you know, more Sweepers, more Big Mana, more decks with, like, a lot of spot removal. But I think the deck's still very powerful. Wouldn't be my top choice for playing an event, but I respect, I respect it as a choice. Well, These you, two are here at 4-0. When you get paired against this deck playing Burn, do you normally win or lose? I know it's cl I it found, felt close. I found the matchup to be close but good, and it would not be good if I did not have Lava Mancer's main and f four more Searing Effects in the board. Okay. Like, you need all of it okay. to be, for the matchup to be good, but with all of it, I think the matchup is good. Okay. Because you can kind of you can kill, like, all their stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I could see that. But game one, you know, the deck actually isn't very good at killing creatures early on in the game because your burn is two mana or uh, a lot of its lava spikes. Mm -hmm. So you can actually get, they have draws where you, they can actually free boot or meddling mage you out of games. Oh, for sure. You know, that, for that, sure. that is part of, you have Grim Lava Mancer though, it's it's very hard for that to happen. Mm -hmm. So they, have no, they don't have a great answer to that card. Not really. I mean, they can, if they have an Aether Vial, they can try to set up shop and they have a couple creatures that are big enough, and they have Reflector Mage. But if you have a draw plus Grim Lava Mancer, it's, it's very hard on them. There's a noble hierarch, of course, unclaimed territory, naming humans. Unclaimed territory, naming human. Two noble hierarchs. These guys really are playing a mirror. Tell you what. Teammates, same sideboard, basically. Same shirt. Yep. There's our confidant. All right, we said it'd be all right on the play. And a vial. It looks like Zan has brought in his static caster. But I believe Static Caster says the same name, so if you were to shoot that hierarchy, you would lose your own. Mm hmm. Static Caster would be really powerful from Rossum right now. It'd be great from Rossum. Kill Dark Confidant. Mm hmm. Be awesome. There's an ancient ziggurat. And now there's Mantis Rider. In for four in the air. Three plus exalted? What? 
What? Oh, uh, for those of you, your bingo boards at home, last game, you got player draws a card off of Horizon Canopy. You did. Care of a, Is that you? Yeah, that's Did me. you stamp that already? I did. a boy. Team Patrick has four. Team Cedric has a lot more than four. Nine. Nine. Feeling pretty good about things right now. Still waiting for that invocation, though. Did Saeed bring in his copies of Vithian Renegades? That would be weird. There's only Vile to kill? Well, you have Freebooters and Meddling Mages, right? So you got some wiggle room to bring in some, some fringe yeah, I cards. Yeah, you, you have the ability to bring in some, some... Yeah, fringe is a good way to put it. Okay. So here's Phantasmal Image, going to copy Mantis Rider. And now two Exalted Triggers means that the Mantis Rider for Zan Saeed will attack for five. All right. Run Dark Confidant reveal. Don't remember? Anybody at home? Reveal to one, because Saeed's at 15. Perfect. Not a land. Got it. Let's call it Noble Hierarch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> Another Noble Hierarch. Another Mantis Rider in hand, too. Okay. I play Zathra Decromancer. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little one of that these human decks play in the sideboard. Pretty good card, actually. That's in. And in for five in the air. So Zan's going to fall down to ten. Obviously, no interest in blocking. So we're going to see if the card advantage here from Dark Confidant can do anything. And Saeed, going to untap. Vile. We'll be going up to two in a moment. Thalia's Lieutenant's going to bring Zan Saeed down to eight. It's a good hit. Cavernous Souls, the normal draw. There is Cavernous Souls. Looks like, go ahead. So normally in these kind of matchups, you've got to be mindful of what does combat look like as my opponent get Amy to zero. So he's in a spot now where he has to be worried about going to three or two or one because of his Dark Confidant, mm -hmm. which makes the math so much trickier here. That's true. All right, so here's Lieutenant. That'll trigger. I'm curious if the line here is play my lieutenant and then play the static caster. Because then you don't care about the oh. nap. Then it's very good to get rid of the hierarchs. Okay. Because you, you aren't losing your hierarchs on the way back. You do give Rossum the zombies. For sure. From the necromancer. But you do take away the exalted triggers, which is actually pretty good. And then if your manus rider is able to uh, block off Rossum's manus rider... Your Phantasmal yep. Image Manus Rider, yep, yep, yep. you're really ahead on the table. So Rossum's going to fall down to nine. <coughs> and you can do this in the upkeep if you want to also, because it's not like this deck plays with any instance. Yeah. And then you, you uh, put Summoning Sickness on the zombies that are getting generated. Yeah. Yep, this is everything that Zan's going to do. He's going to play this static caster in the upkeep. Kill the Noble Hierarch. Zombies enter the battlefield tap from, Z from Xanthor Necromancer. Champion of the Paris, the draw there. And now you have a 4-4 four, four against a 3-3. Three, three. Yep. And a commanding position besides. Yeah, this so. position's really good for Zan. He's also got that Violon, too, that could sneak something in, too. And Zan elected to cast the Lieutenant. So ah, yes, right. Representing something big. Champion of the Parish now. Follow-up is another Mantis Rider, I believe. Yes. Champion of the Parish will get a little bit bigger. 
attack for six in the air. Well, there's going to be a block here. I will block one of these, yeah. I think Rossum, I like this attack a lot from Rossum. He's just got to hope the Confidant kills Zaid. You get him You get him for three points this turn. You don't die on the way back, so you get two Confidant activations, and maybe you steal it that way. Oh, well, we got to see what the first one's going to be. There's also that Aether Vial that he might bring up. Ancient Ziggurat. That might close the door here for Rossum. I yep. think he, he needed two turns of Confidant hitting something big to win this game. Uh, three and a two would have certainly helped. A lot of three mana spells, especially after Sideboard for Zan Saeed. But he did not find one there. Dark Confidant revealed a land. Hit me! Hit me, bingo board. If a fetch line finds a Dryad Arbor, I also win bingo. Just so you know. It's a big deal. It's going to be hard for me to fade that for a weekend. <laughs> I don't know. Not a lot of decks do that. I think it's more likely the Invocation than Dryad Arbor, honestly. Remember, we're looking at six attackers potentially against three blockers. So Saeed here trying to figure out, can he finish off the game this turn? Rossum with no Aether Bile. So the shields are down. Oh, there's the Renegade. This is going to blow up this vial. Got to make Lieutenant a little bit bigger. It looks a little weird on the surface. Well, we're pretty sure that Rossum doesn't have a vial in his hand at this point. So <laughs> whatever. So three, so there's three blockers. Rossum's at nine. Yeah, I don't think it mm, depends if he's like a reflector or not. Oh, he drew both renegades this game. Okay, that was going to be a mm, problem. Going off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the definition of it. Yeah. Right there. Remember, the Phantasmal image over there for Zan Saeed is a Mantis Rider with a plus one, plus one counter on it, so it's a 4-4 four, four flyer with haste and vigilance. Now, keep in mind, there is some incentive for, for Saeed to try to get the game over with this turn, because if Rossum draws a flyer, another Mantis Rider specifically, mm -hmm. There's, I don't think anything that Zayi can do to prevent himself from taking a hit from one of the Manus Riders, and then you can lose your own Dark Confidant. Okay. Champion's going to jump in front of the Lieutenant since it's a small champion. You also get a zombie token from this, of course. It's a human. And Zathor Necromancer is going to revive the zombie. So Zayi trying as hard as he can here to protect his own life total, and you see he leaves back a lot. And his hope here is that he, that that Rossum does not draw another Manus Rider, and then he's in the clear. If Rossum makes any sort of attack on the ground, then you just throw your confidant in front of something, and you don't have to worry about it. I think Rossum may have just drawn a Thalia's Lieutenant. Thalia's Lieutenant is a, not a bad draw here, even though it, uh, much of Rossum's board is for zombies. Mm -hmm. Because getting the Manus Rider up to a 4-4... Four -four, it's pretty good. ...then forces the trade on the other side. And now the, the, the ground's kind of sticky. It's a, the game's a little locked up. And Zaid has a Dark Confidant at 5. If you can get that Phantasmal image off the, off the table, you've still got a shot here. We'll see what Meddling Mage is going to name here. I, I'm going to lean towards Reflector Mage. Yeah, I mean, neither player has a vial at this point, so it's just... What's the card you can't beat? Yeah. Rossum's got to figure out what he wants to name. But Rossum really needs either a Thalos Lieutenant or I guess Noble Hierarch wouldn't work because Zayi could shoot it down before Khan. It's so, name, it names Thalia's Lieutenant. So it looks like Rossum did not draw Thalia's Lieutenant. Horizon Canopy, the reveal. <laughs> Jonathan's like, come on, man. Help me out here. Yeah, I wanted to kill you. Rossum knows what he needs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not getting it so far, though. The Xan will sacrifice a rising canopy and draw a new card. Another Mantis Rider is pretty good. That'll grow the Lieutenant.
And I think this is the check mark for Zaid. I think once the the other Manus Rider is off the battlefield, once Rossin's Manus Rider is off the battlefield, I think the door is closed. Okay. There's no single kill with the Dark Confidant in Zaid's deck. He has the air covered with his Manus Rider should Rossum draw one copy of his own. And I, I don't know what else, what other factors there are here. Rossum can't get through any points. He dies in the air next turn. So this is interesting. Rossum drew is a static caster. So depending on Horizon Canopy, the reveal, depending on how Xan attacks, um, we could see a more t another turn. Because if Xan attacks with both Manus Riders, he just ping the Phantasmal Image one. Right. If he just says, attack with the, the actual Mantis Rider, not Phantasmal Image one, and get my two triggers, the game is over. Will he see that? That's a different question entirely. Here's Reflector Mage. And it mounts Xanth of Necromancer. Okay. This will be a fun test, actually. I mean, they, they know each other's deck lists. Yeah. You can, you can work it out from here. Mm -hmm. If he attacks with just the, only, the lone Mantis Rider. Okay, so now Rossum's going to get an extra turn. Yep, shoot that. So it's weird. He kind of felt like he saw that coming a little bit. I still think Zayed's in the clear here. I think he's doing fine. I mean, there's the potential for well, Rossum to draw a Reflector Mage now. Uh, or his own Manus Rider would yes. force a trade. Yeah, but it's not going to happen. He's yep. going to die. So, Zantai is going to win. Game number two here over Jonathan Rossum. Humans are all tied up. Look at these guys. Same shirt, same deck, same record. All of it. Number three and number six on the SD Tour leaderboard. So, changing my opinion about the Static Caster, I'd not consider the Phantasmal Image implication. Sure, Both sure. players should, should definitely have it. All right. Well, they both do. They're both going to shuffle up and sideboard here for game number three. And while they do that, we're going to get ready for a few messages from our sponsors. So let me ask you this question. Zathard Necromancer didn't do much that game. Yeah, and so it may just come down to, and we saw it with, with Zaid having his, his Renegades there. It might just be that Meddling Mage and Freebooter are so bad. Freebooter, definitely. Maybe not Meddling Mage because a 2-2 two -two human for two might be above the board with the tribal implications. Mm -hmm. But because you have those eight cards that do almost nothing, you have room to bring in some more speculative sideboard cards. It's fair. It's I'm not fair. a big believer in the Zathra Necromancer because I just don't think the games don't seem to break that way. It's less about value and more about who's bigger on the battlefield and who has a flyer. Yeah, because those tutus didn't do irrelevant. Any, didn't do anything. Yeah, completely irrelevant. Ground got gummed up. Zan had the bigger creatures. The and zombies don't play with any of the tribal stuff. Yep. So it's. Um, it, it's probably, I'm guessing, not very good in the matchup, but is it better than Freebooter? Is it better than Meddling Mage? I kind of like Freebooter. I don't know. Like, I'll take, I'll take any flyer, honestly. That is taking any flyer. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not great, but, like, I'll take a flyer. That's what that game came down to. 
coming off the ground's pretty easy. And even like a car like Mirror Crusader, you know, Double Strike is great and all that stuff. You can chump block it for days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think Mirror Crusader is the answer. I mean, no one loves a two mana one two flyer, trust me, but you can make into a two three. A little exalted help, make into a three four maybe. Oh, that's a tough start. Well, he's got Vile. No, it's not. Yeah, never mind. He's fine. Down to 19 goes Rossum from the Horizon Canopy. And the, the Horizon Canopy here, an indicator that Rossum's on a one lander or only has Horizon Canopies to work with. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate the mana. The first time that I saw this deck in action in the hands of Collins Mullen, he had like two fetch lands and a hollowed fountain and something and I just thought that that has to be nonsense there's yeah, no that got, that got fixed fast there's no reason that that has to to be like that yeah. the mana base here on Rossum's side four ancient ziggurat four cavern souls four unclaimed territory four horizon canopy two, two sea chrome coast and a plains I buy that that looks right to me yeah one basic for path and sea chrome coast seems like a natural card to have here it's pretty free yeah Only 19 lands in the deck. Makes it so you don't flood very much. Horizon Canopy helps mitigate flooding, too. Hey, you can't forget Crabbing Souls. You do play against Sex with Counter Spells. Champion of the Parish. All right. Although, I'm curious to see Chrome Coast versus Ranger Verge Thicket. Because Ranger Verge Thicket casts all your ones. It's true. So, I don't know. But there isn't two windswept heaths, a hallowed fountain, and a temple garden like last time. Yeah, that's done. That's obviously... that's. That's obviously not correct. <laughs> Champion of the Parish. Cavern of Souls is going to name Human most likely. Could name Illusion. But for now, we're tapping. And we're casting. Dark Confidant. Pass turn back. Good on the play. Not so great on the draw. You saw it on the play from Zan Saeed. You see it on the, the play here from Jonathan Ross. I mean, game number three. I think part of the reason that they play Seacom Cross is so they can hard cast Phantasmal Image. Sure. Because your, uh, your lands generally name Human. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe if you weren't playing Phant Phantasmal Image, it would be Rage Reverge Thicket. Here's Noble Hierarch. Going to pump up these champions. One's a 3-3. Three, three. Another one's a 2-2. Two, two. This one's going to attack for 4. Thanks to that Exalted Trigger. And I guess 16 of your 19 lands cast Noble Hierarch on turn 1, so you don't need to make a big concession to your mana base to, to lock that up. That's fine. Rossum going to reveal an ancient ziggurat. Where is that vial going to go, my friend? Up to two. That's where it's going to go. Draw a card. Horizon Canopy. Maybe a few too many lands in there for Jonathan right now. Ziggurat was the reveal. Canopy was the draw. He's got Vithian Renegades with no artifact to blow up except his own. Another noble hierarch. Actually, his first noble hierarch in hand, which is fine. He doesn't have his power cards in the matchup thus far, like Mantis Rider or Reflector Mage. So he's considering... Sacrificing his canopy, and he will. Now there's a Reflector Mage. That's a little bit better. Ancient Z. Noble Hierarch. Trigger the champion of the parish. He remembers it. He's a smart kid after all. 3-3 three, three champion. Could be attacking for four, much like Zansai did last turn. And here it comes. Now, that Dark Confidant, Patrick, that might be on chump blocking duty relatively soon. We'll see. Could be. With Vile in play, though, the Confidant's so much better because you have all the mana in the world to work with. Uh, but, yeah, I don't think Rossum wants to take a big hit here, leave the Confidant in play when he's not particularly close to killing Zaid. Now, Rossum does have a copy of Phantasmal Mitch in hand. Here is Reflector Mage. Mm. It's going to bounce Champion of the Parish. Okay. Here come the champions. And I am loving this turn here for Jonathan Rossum now. Because he is going to play a Phantasmal Mage. It's going to copy Reflector Mage. It's going to bounce a bigger champion. He's going to double block that 3-3 champion, I think. Wow, he's going to take... I would love to double block there. What about you? Mm, uh, he may want to race if he's got if he's got a lieutenant or uh, looks like he's an own reflector mage to race here. I'm a little surprised. Noble hierarch the reveal, get both the champions off the battlefield. Then he's got to make a choice, and if he wants to let you keep the confidant or not. Yeah, he's gonna let you keep the confidant. Sure. You might have to race a little bit here 
keep your battlefield presence and then use the reflector mages to keep Zayed from cracking back. Because you are under a you are under the gun a little bit here. If if you can't force a block where you lose your own dark confidant, you've got to close the game out pretty quickly. True. He's, at, he's at ten, you know, it's I don't know how I feel about 15 Renegades after sideboard. They look rough. I don't know if you're, you know, turn one hierarch and you get their vial. Like, well, that's the nuts. I, I still think it's mostly a, a function of having the the bad cards in the main deck. I don't think the Renegades are particularly good here. I don't think either player would say, I really like Renegades in the matchup. It's just better than Grizzly Bears. That's fair. Better than Bird Maiden. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Confident, gonna cut Stormcrow. I guess is the yeah. Stormcrow one one or one two. I don't know. Whatever. I think Stormcrow is one two. I, I know that uh, Mr. Holt, Nate Holt, he knows. It's fan. It's got a fan following. Yeah. Bird Maiden's three mana. Oh wow, that sounds like a stinker. Wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what you know? It's, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Confident came across there for four. Thanks to two exalted triggers. Here's Champion of the Parish. We'll cast that one now. Reflector Mage, a little delay is over. Also, what, we, what we've been seeing here, I think, in games two and three, and part of the justification for Vithian Renegades, if one player has Vile and the other doesn't, that's the whole thing. Yeah, it does kind of feel that way, it's to just, be fair. Yeah. The mana advantage is too big, and so many of these cards play so well at instant speed that I think it's very hard to compete. Vile? Reflector Mage. I like that in the spot. <laughs> That's nice. That's <laughs> nice. That's nice. Make sure we get that check out to you for this show. Thank you. Yeah, no, pro no problem. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's going to. It's going to be, it's, it's you gonna, know, it's, so the, a number of things are going on here. It's going to bounce that. It's going to bounce that. It's going to put a, a creature on Rossum's side of the battlefield. Mm -hmm, yep. It's going to delay being replayed. Mm -hmm. that's, just, that's, that's, just, that's just good. And then when the champions reset, it takes us some amount of time for it to get large again. And with Rossum cutting turns out of the game, mm -hmm. it, it may not be a good investment for Zaid to replay the card. Yeah. So. Yeah, that all just kind of makes sense. Yeah. It all just makes sense. I also accept cash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cash rules everything around me. Renegade's the reveal. There is the Renegade. Thayu's Lieutenant the draw. Uh, that is why closing this game out quickly is still, you know, Rossum's got a great presence on the battlefield. He's, he's far ahead. But you've got to convert it kind of fast because you could still lose your own confidant here. It's a 19 land deck, too. You're not going to reveal lands much. And also, you know, there's nothing in the in the air on Rossum's side of the table, so he's also vulnerable to Manus Rider. True. Got to be careful here. Got to be careful. There's the tenant. Now the battlefield's getting start starting to get a little clunky. Marossum's well, starting to build a pretty good battlefield here. So much, in fact, that we might actually be able to see him start attacking with Dark Confidant. Now, Lieutenant triggers on the stack. So we're going to see Static Caster, it looks like. I'm but curious what it's going to target. I think Rossum's leftovers here are just a... The Vithian Renegades in his hand, mm -hmm. plus a Dismember. Yep. So Zaid here is still drawing to Manus Rider as a way to get out of this game. Three mana, Renegades. Assuming that he doesn't die this turn. Yep. That's going to save the champ. Everybody gets a counter. You get a counter. You get a counter. You get a counter. You get a counter. But I think Zaid can chump block out of this turn. I think Zan gets to play at least one more turn, maybe two. 
So he keeps the Noble Hierarch around, and that's why I think he had to shoot down the champion there. Mm -hmm. He needs the Exalted Trigger. So he can draw Manus Rider, hit for four, and then have the Dark Confidant flip over to three. Okay, that's the big plan. That, I, think that's, I think that's the reason. Well, it's good to have a plan. Yeah, I like, don't kill that Phantasmal Image. You know, let, let Static Astro take care of that nonsense. Next turn, assuming you get one. Here's your double block. Take two, three, six. Go down to six, champion down. You can keep your Reflector Mage. So it's long odds here, but as bad as this game has gone for Zaid, he is drawing live. Hey, play to win. Draw a card. Didn't get a great look. Champion of the Parish. Three mana. What is it? Reflector Mage. Uh, and Rossum there, a huge sigh of relief. Yeah. Reflector Mage, I'm probably fine. Maybe that's worth a turn. But he knows Manus Rider is the way that he gets punked out of this game. Yep. Would it have been a three from the Dark Confident? Now I'm, now I'm interested. Well, the game's going on. Yeah, we're yeah, going to find out in just a sec. And Rossum, it, you know, I don't think he's going to, it's going to be uh, tough for him to get to lethal this turn. Horizon Canopy faded it. Unclaimed territory, the draw. Now, if he's got any plans to cast in that dismember, it's not going to be cheap. Sacrifice this to draw a card. Another unclaimed territory. No help. Nope. It's still not cover. Three mana. Some of the Renegade, maybe? Yeah, it's got nothing to blow up. It'll, dro it'll grow Thaïs with tenets. And you see Rossum engaging in one of my favorite activities, encroachment on the battlefield. Yes. Yeah, a Seattle special. Slowly, he's, he's gotten more than half of the battlefield to himself now. And as he turns his creatures, hopefully closer to Zan, to work himself towards about 70% of the battlefield. Eventually, Xan will actually be attacking from his lap. It'll be perfect. There's elements of of the Cali box out, elements of encroachment, <laughs> elements of the grid. Yeah, the, gri the grid is certainly... <laughs> Rossum is giving him all of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's a multi-dimensional attack. That's right. What is the Cali box out again? Uh, it's putting your permanence around their permanence. <laughs> <laughs> I need to refresh it very quickly. Yeah. It's been a minute since I've heard that. Yeah. Ken Ho, former ah, Pro Tour champion, ah, taught me. Got it. The Cali box out. Nice. That is nice. The grid is just putting your permanence in totally random, <laughs> totally random, scattered about the battlefield. Yep. There's your double block. Bunch of permanents are going to trade. Dark Confident actually off the battlefield now, so it's not so much about that anymore, apparently. Seven to two. Yikes. But, you know, it, it's possible Manus Rider is just good here. No, I don't think that's really fun. Well, he does have a Manus Rider now. Yeah, we got a game. We got a game. Huh. Yeah. That actually could be good. Wow. Go to the flyer for four in the air? Huh. Then also has a copy of Reflector Mage, but I, I think I kind of like Manus Rider. He's going to go to Reflector Mage, though. He's going to bounce the Renegades. I think this is also totally reasonable, though it does die if, if Rossum draws his own Manus Rider now. So that's a problem. But he would be hard-pressed to beat that anyway because the Exalted Triggers just force them in. It's not even a trade. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I don't think you can play around Rossum drawing a Manus Rider at this point. He definitely doesn't have it in hand. You would have seen it by now. So. Ooh, the attack. Getting aggressive. Hmm. <laughs> exalted Trigger means that Reflector Mage is going to be a 3-4. He's got three creatures back. 
get busy winning or get busy losing. Lozan's trying to get busy winning. He's played a really nice game here. He's making what might be a pretty nice comeback. I will say that. Still a ways to go, but if he can induce, and part of the reason he may have wanted to reflector mage this turn is he just might be playing around the dismembers in the board too. He might think that his battlefield's good enough right at this point where he might be able to induce the dismember on something else. Okay. And then your Manus Rider's in the clear. I see a little block. All right. Well, how awesome is Rossum? Is there a Mantis Rider just sitting on top of his deck? Make this easy for him? Nope. Dark, mm. dark, dark confident, huh? You're not it. That's not it. So this attack coming in right now is for lethal with the exalted triggers. So Zaid has to do something. So how are we blocking? How are we blocking? His noble hierarch is a three four. So I think the noble hierarch is uh, probably the worst permanent on the battlefield for Zaid's side. Also, it frees him up to use the static caster on the noble hierarch should it be involved in a double block should you draw a second copy of this is a caster so i like jumping with the hierarch here there's one thing that's kind of interesting which is you know dark off on a pretty bad draw to the static caster there are also just a couple bad draws right now thinking about casting a vial but maybe not well it looked like he was about to cast champion of the parish i wouldn't do that either can't do that in the face mm, of the static caster you can't nope. draw the can't play the dark confidant can't play the vithian raider because that got reflector mage the previous turn mm -hmm. Renegade. Excuse me. Renegade. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, hoo -hoo. tough guy. Man. Interesting. Whoa. Yeah, I, I am really surprised that they let the. Okay. okay, okay, okay. All right. Thought he may it have gotten It looked there. like we had gotten past that I thought, point. I thought we but may have gotten there, yeah. Looks like we're on the second turn, extra turns now. Oh, there's Manus Rider. Shoot that. Yep. Yeah, that's a pretty good attack. I mean, it's lethal. Yeah, so I think from Rossum's side here, you have to chump block. You have to dismember the Manus Rider and then hope, hope to, to draw. Manus Rider. You're, yeah, you yep. do draw your own. Yep. I think I'm right there with you, partner. Hasn't drawn one yet, I don't think. Yeah, cause he can't rely on image now. I don't think. See, so yeah, I block there. Dismember there. Take four, go down to three. Yeah, yeah I think this is this is his one shot at it. Yeah. He's got a, he's got other outs. He can peel a. He can peel image. To image reflector mage, he can peel reflector mage, bounce reflector mage. Sure. He's actually got a lot of outs. Yeah, there's image. Yep. Play this. Copy reflector mage, bounce reflector mage. That'll do it. John the Rossum going to win this game and match over Zan Saeed. Two games to one. The awesome Rossum, number three on the SCG Tour leaderboard with a timely top deck, moves on to 5 and 0. Oh. For nothing but creatures, that game had a lot of play to it. It did. It did. Uh, it's a very creature centric matchup. And uh, Zaid was behind there. He was on the draw. He didn't have a vial on turn one. Rossum did. Uh, I think Zaid 
Played a really good game working himself back into it, but Rossum there drawing to Manus Rider and Phantasmal Image and uh, found, found something before dying on the way back. Yeah, timely, timely, and a, a nice draw too. And you know, he set himself up in a situation too where enough outs. You know, right. it wasn't just Mantis Rider anymore. It was a lot more than that. So, big win there for Jonathan Rossum. 5-0 and oh here in Columbus. And, you know, Humans did look pretty good there. I mean, obviously it was a mirror and both players had the same deck list, stuff like that. But, uh, I don't know, 